Hi guys, welcome back. So I wanted to go over some of my cruelty-free essentials today. I transitioned to cruelty-free about a year and a half ago and for me the transition's been pretty smooth. I thought it could help you guys to kind of share the basics that I have in my house that are really easy to find and I've kind of gone through the process of trying products out and I found a bunch that I really like so I just wanted to share with you guys. So going cruelty free can be pretty easy, it kind of just takes checking labels and maybe a google search or two and also just kind of filtering new products that you may not be used to that maybe you weren't raised on and things like that to find new essentials that just work for your life and are cruelty free at the same time. So today's video is in collaboration with BioClarity, which is an awesome vegan plant-based cruelty free skincare company and I will get into more on them later. Start out just a quick overview of what cruelty free is if you're not familiar. I'm also going to put a bunch of links in the description box. Um, of some articles that are pretty easy to understand and like break it down for you guys so you can see there. Cruelty free means that none of the ingredients or finished product were tested on animals or that it's never tested on animals in behalf of the company. That's why when a company sells in China they're not technically cruelty free because in China they'll test on animals in behalf of the company so therefore the company is like allowing their products to be tested on animals. It can get kind of confusing but it also goes down to like if the parent company is cruelty free. I know some people will still buy from the smaller branch even if the parent company isn't cruelty free so there are usually like these bigger companies that own different brands and some of the brands will be cruelty free themselves and market themselves that way but some people don't like to buy from those companies still because money's still filtering back into the bigger company who doesn't have the same belief system so that's why some people don't want to support um, those brands that still are connected with the bigger company. I've kind of seen people go both ways with this so Personally, I try to avoid those brands, so I will leave some links down below of where you can get some more in-depth information so I don't bore you on that. I also always check on Logical Harmony or Cruelty Free Kitty or checking for like the Leaping Bunny symbol on products is always good. Um, but kind of doing some back checking, cross-referencing is good to figure out if the company is actually cruelty free or figuring out what their parent company stands for. Okay, so I'm gonna get into skincare right away because everyone loves skincare. So I wanted to talk to you guys about BioClarity because they are this really awesome monthly subscription service that's plant-based, vegan, and cruelty-free. They offer two different kind of monthly skincare lines. So they have a clear skin routine that's more for oily and acne-prone skin, and then they have essentials routine that's just for normal or dry skin. I've been using the clear skin routine because, as you guys know, I have acne-prone skin, and I really have been a fan of three-step systems for a long time and I was really bummed out when I went cruelty free that I didn't really see that many alternatives out there until I heard of them so that's why I was excited to share with you guys because it is really nice to just have a system that you know what to use so it's like three steps you use it morning and night and it just takes a lot of the thought out of it there's the cleanse step which has cucumber green tea chamomile in it and then you follow it up with a 2% salicylic acid and oat kernel complexion acne treatment gel. I love this third step. It's the Restore and it's Floralux. So it's pulled from chlorophyll in plants. So it has all the vitamins and minerals going into your skin. And it's actually this really cool um, green color. The green absorbs into your skin and you can't see it afterward. You can do add-ons. They have face masks and I've been using this clarifying mask which also has the Floralux in it so it's this really pretty green and this one just feels really awesome. You can just tell it's super cleansing. I'm definitely a huge fan of the mask and this Floralux. I just think it's so cool to have like the green and chlorophyll from plants. If you guys want to try them out you can get 50% off your first month with my code where I live and I'll have that linked in the description box for you as well. Quickly for some other skin essentials that you can find in your grocery store or health food store that are cruelty free, which I talk about all the time is apple cider vinegar and witch hazel. These I mix together to use as a toner and it's so good. Definitely try this out on a little patch of your skin first if you have sensitive skin, but these work amazingly for me. I always have them in my house and you can pretty much find them anywhere. 
and I like just using natural products on my skin so I love when I can just find it in like my grocery aisle or like health food store and then from now solutions I do often use a rose hip seed oil which I use when my acne is kind of going down and I just have a little bit of scarring left this is really good to help with scarring going into toothpaste so this was a weird transition because I feel like if you're like me, a lot of kids grew up on like Crest and all these other brands that are not cruelty free. It was just kind of weird to try new brands and I have tried maybe like four different toothpastes and I really love this one. It is from Kiss My Face. This one does have fluoride in it. I just prefer to have a toothpaste with fluoride in it. I know some people don't like that. They also have lines that don't have fluoride if you're interested. This one just tastes and feels the most like my old normal toothpaste because sometimes I don't really like the ones that feel super natural personally. And another very natural product is coconut oil. I have been getting into oil pooling because I've just been reading up on all of the benefits and I haven't always had the best teeth. I didn't take very good care of them when I was a kid and I would eat a lot of candy. <laughs> um, so now I'm trying to combat that and I've just been getting into oil pooling and you can get unrefined um, coconut oil pretty much in any of your stores. Okay, going into hair care. I get a lot of questions on what hair dye I use. I actually desperately needed to dye my hair last week, so I used the box already, but I'll insert a picture of it right here. I use the Herbitint in black, and this was actually the first alternative hair dye that I stumbled upon, and I just happen to really like it. It works really well. It maybe isn't as potent as the old ones I used to use, but it's definitely more gentle on my hair and it gets the job done. Prices are pretty comparable as the other ones and the company does have a bigger focus on sustainability as well, which I really like. For shampoo and conditioner, I also really got lucky and just happened to try these out right when I was changing over. These are the ones that you should be able to find at your health food store. So this is Nature's Gate shampoo for dry hair and sensitive scalp. These are vegan, um, sulfate free, soy free, paraben free, gluten free. The price on these is maybe like $7 a bottle, which isn't horrible. I know that can be a little bit pricier, but these feel really nice. I have color treated hair and they work well for that. Yeah, they just leave my hair feeling really good and they're so much better than any of like the other drugstore products that are like herbal essence or things like that that just feel horrible on your hair. These feel really, really nice and they're way more natural for you. Okay, for body in the shower, I'm the biggest fan of Dr. Bronner. You guys have to try this peppermint 18 in one soap. Um, you can do a bunch of stuff with this, but I just use it as body wash. It smells so good and it has that like cooling effect and they have these in a bunch of different scents. They can seem a little bit pricey, but you seriously only need like a few drops of this so it lasts forever. I've had this for months and months. And then for lotion, I just like to buy a big tub of lotion because it's not something I want to like keep on buying. And this is at a really affordable price as well. For 32 ounces, you get... This is like $10 usually. I think I got it for $10 at Whole Foods. And it's the Everyone Lotion. This is in lavender and aloe. And I really love this lotion. You can use it on your face, hands, body, it says. I just use it on my hands and body. But yeah, it's really good and it smells good. You can't go wrong here. Then for like hand soap in your bathroom, I also use Dr. Bronner's in there, or we'll use the Miss Myers as well. Like I said, again, these might be a little bit pricier, but you seriously only need like a little drop of this because they do make their products really concentrated. So they're meant to just have a little bit of it and then mix it in with water to like foam it up a little bit. And these just smell so good as well. <laughs> Lastly, something a little bit more fun. I've just been recently getting into this, but it's cruelty-free vegan nail polish, but it's cruelty-free, more natural nail polish. I'm sorry I'm saying cruelty-free so much in this video. It sounds weird now. I love this brand Sundays. They're based out of New York and they're vegan as well and non-toxic. This formula stays on for like over a week without chipping and I love that. Retail is about like 18 or so dollars but it's definitely worth it because if you go and get one manicure at the salon it's like at least 15 dollars and you can paint your nails over and over again with this. And then I've been trying out this J. Hanna nail polish and I'm 
obsessed with this color it's so rad and yeah it's called seven free nail polish so it has a lot of the like bad stuff in nail polish taken out of it so I thought I would mention that as well because it's kind of nice to have these alternatives just at your home if you don't have salons that have options okay I know that was kind of long I'm also going to follow this up with a natural like cruelty free cleaning like home cleaning routine once I move so stay tuned for that it was just way too much to add into one video and hopefully you guys enjoyed this and got some valuable information again I'll have bio clarity linked below if you want to check them out and also some other links about cruelty free living and yeah thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time